Crystal. And we are the Higher Vibes Paranormal Team. Huzzah! Hi! Yeah, we just want to talk about the Black Angel and Council Bluffs. I want to give you guys a little bit of background on the Black Angel in Council Bluffs, Iowa. It's an uh, urban legend. There are two Black Angels there are. in the state of Iowa. That we know of. That we know of. So this urban legend was covered by the Omaha World Herald and we're going to go ahead and read just a little excerpt from that article and we'll post the link in the description below uh, just to give you a little bit of background. So another thing about Black Angel is that a lot of people will go out there on Halloween night mm -hmm. And a lot of people are supposed to be going out there just to see what what happens. What happens? Yeah, what happens yeah, on Halloween with like, the Black Angel? Is yeah. it as really as scary as it can be, or is it just urban myth? I don't know if you believe in these sort of things. So if you want to share your input, please let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Not that we're looking for comments, but yeah, but, comments. Um, <laughs> yeah, we like talking. We love, I love talking. Some say she springs to life after sundown and born her powerful wings, zips around the nearby graves. Others say she shoots jets of fire from her eyes when she strikes when the clock strikes midnight. Some whisper of children running behind her base only to disappear forever. Others recount the curse of her stare. Look into her eyes at midnight, they say, and prepare for an early demise. Yeah, so when we were out there doing the Ouija board uh, the other night, like when we got there, even though it wasn't midnight, it was what, like 10 o'clock at was night? Like 10 o'clock. Like, neither one of us wanted to look up at the statue, like into her eyes. Like, even though it's probably not true at all, why tempt the face? I mean, yeah, who knows? Who knows if it's true? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> oh man. That was creepy. That was, was like creepy. super creepy. I was very creeped out when we first got there. Like I was sitting in the car before we went in, probably for a good what five, seven minutes, yeah. just like trying to collect myself and being. I was super scared to have my back towards her. Yeah, were you? Yeah, I was super scared. Is was... that why you looked at me when I was setting yeah. out? Like you wanted to sit on that side. All right. So as you'll see later on in this video, or maybe I'll show the clip right now. There's. Quite a few weird things that we caught on EDP and we cleared up the video a little bit so you could hear it at certain parts. So we had some howling and Oh <laughs> the big babble. <laughs> well we had howling and there was dogs around but they were barking. They weren't making any howling. Yeah, it was noises. like one of those yippy dogs. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. I don't sound like a dog at all. <laughs> I don't know how to bark. <laughs> Um, there's no sirens or anything like that. There was yeah. no cars that passed by until we actually got ready to leave. We were actually in the car leaving. Anything else? So then there was the other part where I was stating the fact that I felt much better during the Ouija session than I had in the car prior. Like, I was oh, feeling yeah. much better about it. And, and Crystal... that was during the day. No, this was at night. This was during the day. No, this was oh, at night. Oh, that's right. You're right, you're right. Yeah, this is at night. Right. And I'm then sorry. Crystal says, good. And then, like, right after we got an EDP that says, yeah. Like, it's as clear as day. Yeah. Like, there's no denying that there's this masculine voice that says, yeah. Yeah. And there was That's not creepy at all. Like, I just yeah. got goosebumps thinking about it again. And there's nobody else there. <laughs> there's and nobody there because it's 10 o'clock at night. I don't feel nearly as creeped out as I was earlier. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I felt super creeped out earlier. It was pretty well lit when we were out there. Yeah, it was really well lit. It was kind of creepy sitting from the car because, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I don't know. My eyes were playing tricks on me. <laughs> right, but we could definitely tell if there were people around or anything oh, yeah. like that. And we would hear it. Right, because uh, it's autumn, it's October. Yeah. The leaves are falling yeah. off the trees and getting crunchy. And definitely a dead giveaway if someone's walking up on us. Oh, yeah. So even if we hadn't heard it at the time, we would have noticed someone out in the trees or right. probably one of else. those children behind the base that disappeared forever. <laughs> right? I don't know, that was an awful deep voice for a child. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so 
What was your overall feeling like of the Ouija board session that we had? It was really hard for me to tell. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I've, I've been out of it lately. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it was cold that night too. It so was pretty chilly. I was focused on the cold and the mosquito that kept flying around me and trying to eat. Yeah, my leg. Oh my god, and I couldn't believe those mosquitoes were even. I know, it was so cold. You could tell I was cold because mm. of the way I was like eh. huddled over. <laughs> and then like my voice. <laughs> After that one part. Yeah. yeah. Mosquito! <laughs> what about the ending though? Because you seem oh, really yeah. freaked out at oh, the end. Oh, yeah. Are we protected right now? Remove. That's what the, the ghost radar just said. So we downloaded that one app called Ghost Radar. I paid the two dollars for it, so it's a different version than the free versions. Slight differences, but I like it a little bit better personally. And uh, so it'll show words that it picks up on. I don't know how accurate they are, but based on our experience, we put pretty decent amount of faith in it, but not all of our faith, because yeah. we like to be a little bit of a skeptic ourselves. Yeah. So, when it popped up the word remove, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> like, uh -uh. it's time to remove yourself. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get out of here. I don't, I don't like that. I, yeah. don't, I really don't. Especially considering the, the Ouija board session that we did during the day, mm -hmm. you thought with your spirit box app that you heard them say, Oh good, they're leaving or yeah. something like that. Yeah, they said so, good, they're leaving. So I felt like we were technically welcome there. So yeah. I was just ready to hang tell them. I was already cold and there was mosquitoes yeah. and there was a big black angel. I think so, it was best for us to just go ahead and so close it out and, and move on. <laughs> yeah, totally. What was it that it said in the car? Oh, driving. So, driving. Right. So oh my God. we left after it said remove. We packed up all of our stuff. We closed out the Ouija board, and we went back to the car. And we decided we were going to sit in the car for just a little bit. We're gonna leave the ghost radar up and check out some of our other, you know, ghost apps. You know, just to see, you know, what we would pick up. And. As the, soon as I got in yeah, the as seat. As soon as she sat down in the car, her ghost radar said, driving. Th that creeped me out. That was creepy. That was I had me. like chills and I just, a little bit of panic. Not much, a little bit of panic. <laughs> like, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was just a little creepy. I actually took video of it, so I'll go mm -hmm. ahead and insert that here for you guys to check out. Because literally, as soon as we got into the car, said driving and Chris was just like it said driving it said driving I was so scared I was just like what it's like it's like it knew we were leaving mm -hmm. and like it wanted us to go right exactly yeah. oh my god and that's probably why I wasn't very comfortable so we just got into the car after being a little creeped out yeah. and as soon as we got into the car and Chris turned back on oh it's doing a thing and turn back on the ghost radar, we got driving. It's like it works or something. But it makes me wonder though, since you got a creepy feeling, like, was it something negative? Or was it, you know? Who knows? I just know it's creepy. Well, thank you for watching our video. We really appreciate it. Please, we are a new channel. We understand that we don't have many subscribers and that kind of makes people not want to subscribe to us. But we have a lot of big plans in the future for doing more videos. We We're gonna bring... do Blucifer one day. Yes, Blucifer I... in Denver, Colorado. In Denver, Colorado. Yes, that is on our list of places to go. Please feel free to like our video if you liked our content. Subscribe. Subscribe. We want you. Yes, you. To subscribe. You watching us right now. Yes. Yes. I see you. <laughs> Leave a comment the below if you have any ideas what might have been said in the video, what you think about some of the EVPs that we picked up. Questions you may have. Yeah, questions you might have about ghost hunting or us or any content that you might like to see in the future. Alright, thank you guys. Subscribe. Like.